Hey masters of your domain, in this guide we're going to be installing Windows 10 without boot camp. All right, if that sounds scary, maybe you want to check out the installing Windows 10 via USB with boot camp as that'll be a lot easier. Also for this guide, if you're installing it on a Mac Pro, you're going to need a Mac verified graphics card handy because it will be required for the installation process. All right, let's jump in. First up, we need the bootcamp drivers for this install. So launch the bootcamp assistant app and download the drivers onto a USB drive. Instead of using bootcamp assistant to prepare the install, we'll partition our drive ourselves by launching disk utility. With your hard drive selected, select partition, press the plus button to add a new partition, then play around with the pie chart to select how much hard drive space you want to use for the Windows partition. Changing your partition after installation is a real pain, so make sure you choose wisely at this stage. As you can see, we've named the partition bootcamp and used the FAT format. Wait a little while until it's done and kaboom, you're ready. Now, if you don't already have a copy of Windows, just jump on the Google and get a copy of the latest ISO from the Microsoft website. Also, download the copy of UNET Boot In, which will allow us to create a boot USB drive from the Windows ISO. Launch UNET Boot In by holding down the control key and selecting open. Select the Windows ISO we just downloaded and target the USB drive. You can confirm the USB drive using the Disk Utility app. This is device disk one, disk one, USB drive. Okay. It's going to go ahead and create a boot disk. All right, it says the created USB disk won't boot off Mac, all right. As booting from USB isn't available on the Mac Pro, you'll have to hold down the Alt key as the system boots to load up the boot selector screen. If you don't have a Mac compatible graphics card plugged in, nothing will appear. So now's the time to plug it in as bootcamp selector screen will not load without one. All right, so hold down the Alt key until you hear the chimes, then wait until the boot selector screen appears. This may take around 90 seconds, but once loaded, you can insert the Windows 10 USB you just created and select it. The Windows 10 installer will now load up. It takes around 30 seconds. Go ahead, select your region, input your product key, and when you get to the where do you want to install Windows screen, select the bootcamp labeled partition. Windows will at this stage require you to format the partition to NTFS. No, this won't affect your Mac OS. Just the new partition we made earlier. If after formatting Windows, you get a complaint of 0x8030024, that just means it's confused about which driver should install Windows to. In my case, I was installing Windows on a PCIe SSD and I had a SATA drive also plugged in. So once I unplugged that, I was able to continue. All right, so we're back here. Partition three, one, one, eight, next. After the install, Windows will restart your computer. In my case, it rebooted back into Windows and continued the install. However, in some cases, you might be rebooted back into Mac OS. And if this happens to you, just hold down the Alt key and wait for the boot manager and select the bootcamp partition to continue. All right, that's pretty much it. Finish up the installer. Go ahead and install the bootcamp drivers. And reboot your machine. You might notice that your screen is a little stretched, but after Windows Update has finished updating the drivers for your graphics card, all should be good in the world. You can, of course, at this stage, turn off the system and plug back in your original non-Mac compatible graphics card. 
One thing to note is that some users have experienced issues when swapping the PCI slots of the graphics cards. So it's worth making sure you plug in your graphics card in the slot you plan on using it long term. Finally, to get back into macOS, you can use the Bootcamp app. Unfortunately, if you're using a non-Mac compatible graphics card, as the boot manager isn't loaded, it will just reboot back into Windows. Yeah, it's my sound effect. So to get around this, you can either have both your Mac compatible graphics card and your non-Mac compatible graphics card plugged in at the same time, or you can reset the PRAM every time you want to reboot back into Mac OS, which unfortunately is very, very, very tedious. You start the Mac or restart it, hold down Command, Alt, P and R. After the first chime, just keep holding it down and wait for the second one. After the second one, you can let go of the keys and then it should boot into Mac. Once back in your Mac OS, you can always reboot back into Windows from System Preferences, Startup Disk. All right, I hope you found this guide useful and I'd love to hear how the install went for you.